the poor freshman. That's my design. It was this quartet, the four freshmen, that dominated the American airwaves in the 1950s. Their lead singer was Bob Flanagan. His vocal range gave the group a special quality, which massively influenced the young Brian Wilson. I got in so, so goddamn, you know, into the freshmen that, like, I, I almost became the freshman. identify with Bob Flanagan's high voice and I could sing along with it and he taught me how to sing high you know and I, I kept singing like for a whole year for a year I spent working with a freshman on, on my hi-fi high fidelity set and I'll be goddamned if I didn't learn every song they did the first song we learned was their hearts were full of spring I think which is of course one of the most beautiful freshman tunes and that was our that was our uh, Peace to resist on. There's a story told of a very gentle boy and the girl who wore his ring through the wintry snow. The The four freshmen have been performing since 1948, albeit with numerous personnel changes along the way. Here in the Californian desert, near the retirement resort of Palm Springs, the current incarnation of the freshmen has become a much-loved institution. They play to packed houses season after season. I was a huge Beach Boys fan before I even heard of the four freshmen. So then to find out that like there was a connection later with this thing that I was doing, it's like, oh wow, like I, mm -hmm. you know, I came in that way. You know, mm -hmm. I came in from like I'm I'm a huge Brian Wilson fan. I'm trying to sing like him, and he's trying to sing like, you know, my part guy. <laughs> The freshmen followed in the tradition of barbershop harmony singing, which they then subverted by giving the melody line to Bob Flanagan. Bob Flanagan was very talented as a falsetto tenor and a full voice tenor, and he just, it became very natural for him, and so they used him on all these high parts, and, and that was what really inspired a lot of other vocal groups, including the Beach Boys and Brian Wilson. And do you try to stay very close to the original full fresh freshman sound? Is that what you're really trying to achieve? Yeah, yeah, definitely. The way that they, the, the way that they voiced chords. It's a Just make it as high as you can, because <laughs> the higher the top guy can get, the more notes and the better, more interesting chords you can squeeze underneath it. You know, if, as the top guy gets down, it, it turns, you know, four parts and get real close. The lower you get, you know. With that hazy, crazy night we met. Well,
Well.